Yes, we ready for the jury? Yes. Yes, sir. All right, Garrett, bring your hand, please. Thank you. And now that we hopefully both come back up and got the synergy back, uh, the fact that we're ready to continue with the images that we looked at. We left off talking about um, States Exhibit 87. Let's move now to States Exhibit 88. Can you share that to the jury? And as I call these out, let's just, um, was this created um, on October 26, 2016? Yes. And that's, so that's an information for that phone number, that's, for that photograph that's saved in the phone, right? Yes. Can you set that aside for a moment? For a moment? So we move now to States Exhibit 82. Picture of a young woman uh, and a newborn child. Yes. Again, it's your understanding that this photograph was sent uh, to Sussman's phone from Laura Barfi's phone uh, through WhatsApp. Yes. We move now to States Exhibit 139. Photograph of an infant and a cat. Again, sent uh, on November 16, uh, 2016, to Sesmus's phone from uh, Laura via WhatsApp. Yes. Uh, and when we talk about 82, I missed this. That was sent on 11 11, correct? The photograph of Laura with the infant on her chest. Yeah. Image number eight in your report. Oh yes, eleven eleven. The date of the birth of Sophia Victoria Gonzalez of Uh We move now to States Exhibit eighty nine. We're moving now to photographs that were taken, again, with the phone itself. Is that your information? That is correct. And this would have been taken on September 24, 2016 in a black truck? Yes. States Exhibit 90. Here the uh, baby shower uh, with several people standing around a cake and a table. Again, taken on September 24, 2016. Yes. Uh, hard to see at distance, but uh, let's move to State's Exhibit 91. It might be more of a close up. State's Exhibit 91 should be the next photograph. So it appeared to be the defendant and a male over a cake saying it's a girl. Yes. Again, this was taken on November, excuse me, September 24, 2016 some six, seven weeks before Laura is shot. Yes. States Exhibit 92. Got a dark photograph. It's very hard to see, but it would depict um, a baby's room. Um, and on the left, isn't there a uh, car seat sitting on top of a stroller? Yes. And again, this would have been taken on October 18th, 2016. Yes, that is correct. Prior to the shoot. Yes. States Exhibit 93. Appears to be a woman or similar appearance to the defendant, uh, Karen Craigan. Yes. Uh, picture taken on October 29th, 2016. That's correct. The next photograph, please. This is Exhibit 94. Now, in States Exhibit 94, one of those two photographs that you also included on your location data report for November 16, 2016. That's correct. So this photograph is one of those two photographs taken in that window near 2.15, or near the time frame when the phone tells you it was near 2.15 Brunswick. That's correct. It appears to be a baby girl. Yes, it does. You show me States Exhibit 95. So this is one of the last in a series of images uh, from 
November 16, 2016, taken around 2.45 in the afternoon? Yes. And again, drawing your attention to the image, there appeared to be a gray baby bed below the, the child. Yes, it does. That states to the 95. Let's talk a little bit more about images um, that were located through WhatsApp. Can I draw your attention to Exhibit 143? I think that's the next image. <coughs> Again, this is a close-up of an image um, on an infant's face. Again, similar to other images of the infant that was located on the phone. Yes, it is. We now move to one. Uh, that was that was uh, created on the. That one's on 11 16 of 2016. The day before Laura shot. Yes. Can we move now to State's Exhibit 144? Looking at a woman with sunglasses on, showing off the rain. Yes. When is this image taken? On 11 18 of 2016. So, this is an image the day after Laura is shot and killed of an individual, um, maybe in a truck, but showing off the rings. Yes. Can you show me now on State's Exhibit 145? Infant in yellow laying on bed? Yes. Does this image appear in later WhatsApp conversations uh, sent by, from Sussex's phone, other individuals? Yes, it does. Can you show me a 146 now? Similar image than before, the baby's mouth is open. Again, this image taken on November 18, 2016, after Laura shot and killed, but sent by the defendant to other people through WhatsApp? Yes. We now turn to 147. Here to be a male laying on a bed with an infant. Yes. You see some photographs from Dallas which kind of show a similar design in the back, uh, back of the bed there, the headboard. But uh, this is again found to be taken in the evening hours of November 18, 2016. Yes. Can you show me 148, please? More of a close-up view of that male sitting up holding an infant in his arms. Yes, it is. Here's the the same bed. Yes. Again, this is an image sent from Suspice's phone on November 18, 2016, through WhatsApp to other individuals. Yes. Let's move now to States Exhibit 96. There's going to be a firearm located on a spread that's purple. Uh, can't tell if there's bullets, but there are definitely two clips sitting next to it. Is that correct? Yeah, there's two magazines and looks like five bullets. This image, is it show in your report the date it's created? No. Why not? Uh, because this is a, um, it's a, kind of like a thumbnail. It's embedded inside of another file. So the data that makes up this picture resides in a caching file. And so the caching file itself will have its own date and time stamps, but the data that's inside of it uh, will not have those date and time stamps. So two words there, let's explain this to the jury. First is thumbnail. What is a thumbnail? Well, a thumbnail is going to be a smaller version of a, an original image. Um, that depicts that original image, in a, but it's in a smaller format. And usually that is for gallery viewing of a bunch of files at the same time. So um, when you're looking on your phone and you're sorting through your pictures to see which ones you, know, you want to look in a larger view, the smaller versions, you're not, you're not looking at the original picture itself, you're looking at a thumbnail of that. And 
in a touch style screen, you touch on that picture, then it takes you to the larger overall picture. Uh, so this is all, those are all cached uh, for speed of use. Stop for a second, explain what cached means. C-A-C-H-E? Yes, C-A-C-H-E, so to, to store. Uh, they're, they're stored in an area for uh, quick retrieval when you go to your gallery, because if they did not get cached or stored, then every time you went back to your gallery, it, the, um, the system would have to recreate all of these smaller versions, these thumbnails, to show you on your screen. And most users, if they're anything like me, they don't like to wait. So that's why the, um, the developers of these systems, they create these things to speed up use, and it stores these uh, thumbnail versions in these cache files. So if I delete an image, from my phone, is it possible you'd still find that image in the cache file? Yes, it is. Can you put up State's Exhibit 88? I believe it was a photograph I asked you to set aside next to that one. Uh, can you push up a little bit? You can see this similar design to, um, does it appear to be the same bedspread that that individual holding a Corona bottle and a remote to a TV is standing near? It appears to be the same one. And that date, just to clear the report, yes, image seven year report, and that showed that it was taken on 10 26, 2016. Yes. So there's no way to say when that image of that firearm was taken, but it was on the bedspread that's clearly in another image in Sussman's phone on October 26, 2016, prior to the shooting. That's correct. We now move to State's Exhibit 99. This next series of photographs, um, are they, can we move that up just a little bit? Judge, may I approach? You may. Okay. These appear to be different in kind to the prior images. Uh, I know in your report that that is called a screenshot. What is a screenshot? So a screenshot is a capturing um, as an image file of what is on the screen and in uh, this instance would be a cell phone. So in my experience with an uh, Apple iPhone, if I hit the side button and the bottom button, it takes a picture of what I'm looking at. Is that what we're talking about? Yes. So this would be something that the person using the suspect's phone would have to literally capture that image while looking at the phone. Yes. And this would appear to be from Facebook, someone shopping for baby beds. Yes. And we now move to State's Exhibit 100. When is this image taken, according to your report? This one was taken on September 21st of 2016. It would appear to depict some sort of medical writing and a pregnancy test? Yes. If you look at the screen, maybe it's easier to see that than it is. Does it have a due date of 10-26-2016 on there? Yes. So. This image would purport to be a pregnancy result, saying that the approximate due date of Ms. Sesmus' baby would be October 27, 2016. Yes. We move to State's Exhibit 101. Again, another screenshot, shopping for a baby bed. Yes. Just taken approximately in September 2016. Yes. And move to State's Exhibit 102. The screenshot appears to be that same baby shower uh, that the, on the found on Sussman's phone, but this is taken uh, and saved on October 5th. That's correct. State's Exhibit 103. Here's the screenshot. Is that a screenshot of WhatsApp? Yes. It appears to be a conversation between 
more of ARCA and someone else? Yes. Uh, were you able to locate this exact conversation in the WhatsApp downloads that you were able to do on both Laura of Arcus phone and Suspicy's phone? Yes. Well, this is in Spanish. I think we'll get to the translation later. If you could set that one aside because we may want to come back to it. But again, that would have been on October 27, 2016? That's correct. Prior to, prior to the shooting? Yes. And are you able to see the address 215 Brunswick in that photograph? In the photograph, yes. So if I were to say where someone lived, that would be one way to do it? That would be yes. Can you see 104, please? This would depict a screenshot of WhatsApp, uh, some a listing of users, including Tia Laura, the phone number matching Laura Vargas' phone, and some other individuals? Yes. Put an individual named Fiona? Yes. And this photograph would have been on 10-28-2016? Yes. Can I see exhibit 105 now, please? So here would be a screenshot of the address at 215 Brunswick here in Wichita. Yes, it is. Did you locate this image on WhatsApp conversations between the Sussex's phone and the Lavarcus phone? Yes. So if I were sending someone a screenshot image, is this your address? That would be one way to do it. Yes, it would be. Does it appear that this, when was this image created? On 11 11 of 2016. If we've heard prior testimony, that was the date that Sophia Victoria Gonzalez of Arthur was born. So that would be the same date. That would be the same date, yes. Let's go through the new series of uh, screenshots that we are locate. Were you able to locate screenshots appearing to be altered photographs or taken from photographs that were also located on the phone but modified in some way? Yes. Let's go to that series starting with 106. We've seen this image before, but in a different format. This was the image that we talked about of a small baby that appeared to be coming out of Laura's profile photograph. When was this created? On 11 of 16 of 2016. Did you find that this image had been sent by Sussmas' phone to other individuals through WhatsApp? Yes. Can we move to 107? What date, were, um, we will get to the reports themselves, but what date were these images sent? Um, if they were taken on 116, does that also match the date that, sh that the assessment system would have sent that information to other WhatsApp users? 1116, 2016, I apologize. Yes. So when we get to those WhatsApp reports, this Im those images will be found in those reports. That's correct. Let's move to the next image uh, that we can look at now is 107. And that again was taken on November 16, 2016. That's correct. Um, again, sent via WhatsApp to other users by Sussex's phone on 11 16 16. Correct. 108, please. Another photograph, a screenshot, taken on 11 16 of 2016? Yes. A screenshot of an image Laura Barkas sent via WhatsApp to Sussex's phone? Yes. 109, please. This appears to be. Um, a modified picture of State's Exhibit 82 that Laura sent to Sussex's phone through WhatsApp? Yes. Literally cutting out the image of uh, Laura Barca and just focusing on the baby? That's correct. This image having been sent via WhatsApp by Sussex's phone to other individuals? Yes. All on November 16, 2016? That's correct. We move to 110. A 
again, two images screenshotted into one, again taken on November 16, 2016, and sent via WhatsApp to other people. That's correct. We move to State's Exhibit uh, 111. Again, these are two of those images we've previously seen as screenshots that, again, are combined into one image and sent via WhatsApp and another screenshot. That's correct. Again, on November 16, 2016, the day before the water shot. Yes. 112, please. This is another image from a WhatsApp conversation. Yes. Now, just to be clear for the jury, these aren't WhatsApp conversations that you're creating images on, right? You're just finding screenshots of what the user would have seen on WhatsApp. Correct. These, these screenshots were stored on the, the cell phone, and they would have been screenshotted of what was on the screen at the time. So this isn't something where you fired up the phone that you created. This is something that the user of the phone on November 16, 2016, would have created themselves. That's correct. And... This image appears to go to Tia Laura. Uh, it even has some text in Spanish. Yes, it does. Will I put near you um, State's Exhibit 112A? May I approach, Your Honor? You look at 112A. Does it appear to be the same image? Yes, it does. Does that also include a translation in English? Yes, it does. You are pursuant to uh, the stipulation of the parties as to the translation I would move to admit 112, excuse me, 112 A at this time. That it was stipulated to the accuracy of the translation, but we object pursuant to the bridge obligation as for seeing the Stipulation as the accuracy is accepted, the objection is noted. Detective, can you read through that um, image for the jury? So the top it says Tia Laura. So what does that translate to? That translates to Aunt Laura. And is this, uh, so what does it say underneath it? In English it says, oh, how nice. And at the bottom of the page, there is writing underneath those images. What does that say? It appears to be from the sender being associated with the WhatsApp account belonging to Sussman's phone. What does it say? In English it says, my daughter has already been born. I've been calling you since then. And again, this image saying that my daughter's been born is sent and created on November 16th, 2016, the day before the Lord is shot. Yes, that's correct. We move now to images that were created on the date of, the, of when Moore died, November 17, 2016, and focus on State's Exhibit 113A. Here's the screenshot for a divorce attorney's office, uh, Garcia Law Firm. Yes. Again, this was created on Suspice's phone. Yes. And then if you show us State's Exhibit 113, This image would appear to contain that image that had been created on the 17th. But when was 113 created? On 11 18 of 2016. So the day after Laura died, the user of this phone would have captured that communication sent from Sussman's phone to Laura Barker's phone. Correct. And that communication occurred approximately near 1.30 in the afternoon on the date Laura died? Yes. We've had some conversation before about WhatsApp. Did you locate WhatsApp communications between... Um, you can take that image down. <coughs> between Sussman's phone and other individuals uh, around the date of November 16, 2016. Yes. Did you find a WhatsApp communication between um, Tia Laura and 
assessment system. Yes. Is that contained in your report 131? That is marked as State's Exhibit 131. Yes, it is. When we look at, um, is that a fair and accurate report as to what you were able to locate regarding the WhatsApp conversation between Sussman's phone and Tia Laura? Yes, it is. I move to admit State's Exhibit 131 at this time. Your tax percentage for pre-trial litigation asks for State's Exhibit. Objections to the <laughs> Can you tell me from that report what information it shows as when the communication starts occurring between Tia Laura and the defendant? Excuse me, assessment system. Yes, it's it starts on in this um, in this report you have eleven sixteen of twenty sixteen at three p.m. And there have been prior conversations going back even October? Yes, it shows that the what's called a thread, which would be um, the connection between the two devices and what being stored, that the start time was October 20th of 2016. But just for getting to the heart of what the conversation is, we just uh, earmarked those conversations November 16th, the day before we were shot through Day 18th, when uh, they start to look for Sophia. Yes. So, were you able to locate any images that Suspicious Phone had sent to uh, Tia Laura? Yes. Multiple? More, yes, multiple ones. More than four? I'm sorry? More than four? More than four. More than eight? Yes. They also include those images that were taken near 215 Brunswick on November 16, 2016? Yes. So not only the doctored images that are found on screenshots, but also the images taken by Sussman's phone, perhaps in Laura's apartment? Yes. Could you find a WhatsApp conversation with a user by the name Foncha, F-O-N-C-H-A, Number 15? Yes. What was the account name Sesmus's phone was using under WhatsApp? Sesmus's phone was using the account name 1316-689-1026 at s dot w-h-a-t-s-a-p-p dot n-e-t. So that's the WhatsApp user account information matching the cell phone number belonging to the defendant? Yes, it is. But does it have a username associated with that phone number? The username that was associated is uh, Azul, A-Z-U-L. Well, we've heard testimony from other witnesses that that was the name that the defendant intended to call Vegas Sophia. Blue, I guess is a Spanish word, but Azul would be also a girl's name. Yes. Now, is State's Exhibit 132 a fair and accurate depiction of all of the conversations that um, we've marked between Fancha and Azul starting on October 22nd, 2016, running through uh, 11, excuse me, November 18, 2016? Yes, it is. I move to admit Exhibit 132 at this time. Then we also place before you uh, State's Exhibit 132A. That's correct. <coughs> is that a Translation from Spanish to English of the communications between Fancha and Azul. Yes, it is. Uh, Judge, pursuant to the stipulation of parties, the state moved to admit State's Exhibit 132A at this time. Judge, we have the same objection as to 132 or 132A, uh, but we do stipulate the accuracy. The accuracy is accepted. The objection to the substance is overruled. 
to draw your attention to specific communications here. Um, based on uh, October 22nd, 2016, uh, is, there a question, uh, is there a question from Foncha to uh, Sussman's phone? Yes. Um, the first, what does the first one read? It reads, hello, fine, fine, and you, dot, 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 are you a daddy yet? Is there a response? The response is no, supposedly will be born on the 27th by the doctor's count, but we'll see. Does Fonch uh, respond? Yes. And what are the two statements she says? Uh, I, then dot, 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 God, then that girl is taking a long time. Does Sussman's phone respond? Yes. What does it say? It's um, a series of ha 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 ha, not that. It's the date when she'll be nine months. Indicating a potential due date for a baby? Correct. Consistent with the screenshot that she located of the pregnancy test? Correct. On 10.30, is there another question about whether the child is born? Yes. Is there a response on the 31st? Yes, there's a response. What does the response say? No, not yet, but for sure on the 15th, they'll take her out. Indicating perhaps a uh, C-section date? Yes. On 11-16, uh, is there, a, is there a, another communication from function? Yes. What does it say? Hi, cousin. How is Jesse? Has the girl been born yet? I would indicate to you that someone's asking someone else about the person named Jesse. That is correct. But does Sesmus' phone respond and correct who's the speaker? Or does it have a response to Yes. That? And what does it say? Almost. She'll come out today. Hello, it's Jesse. So if the speaker thinks she's talking to someone else, the responder, in this case, Sesmus' is phone is saying, it's Jesse. That's correct. Again, these are happening on November, uh, October 31st. Or excuse me, 1116 to 16. 1116 to 16, correct. And based upon that, um, it says she'll come out today, doesn't it? Yes. And you turn to the next page. Does at any point Sesmus' phone announce the birth of a child? Yes. What does it say? It says it's been born. And in your report, you note that's when the images that you found that were sent from Laura Martha's phone that were modified on Sesmus' phone begin to be sent to Fonja? Yes. We look at the Communications on the 18th. Is Fonchik asking more questions? Yes. What does she ask? And what are you going to call her? And does Sussman's phone respond? Yes, response with Azul Maria Soberano. Consistent with what the name that the defendant told law enforcement she's going to name for a bar Yes. Turning to State's Exhibit 133, did you find similar communications with another individual identified as Jacqueline? Yes. Again, through WhatsApp? That's correct. Is that a fair and accurate depiction of the communications between Sussman's phone and Jacqueline? Yes, it is. I move to admit State's Exhibit 133 at this time. <coughs> Based on the late hour, let's just direct your attention specifically to the first WhatsApp that's been selected in terms of communication. When is uh, it appear that images of Sofia Victoria Gonzalez modified on Sussman's phone begin to be sent to uh, Jack? On 11 16 of 2016 at 4 26 p.m. The day before Laura shot and killed. 
That's correct. Same photographs are also sent that were taken near uh, the time that the phone was located near 215 Brunswick 116? Yes. Same uh, images, including the image of the girl, I'm directing attention to page 5, on 1118, that the girl is showing off the ring and uh, wearing the glasses that appears to be the defendant? Yes, that's correct. And an image of the child in yellow as the last image to sent on November 18th, 2016 from Dallas. That's correct. You find uh, conversations between suspects and phone and the individual identifies fear, F-E-E-R? Yes. Is that contained in your report? Is State's Exhibit 134? Yes, it is. The move to admit State's Exhibit 134? That's objects pursuant to pre trial litigation and then proceeding to detention. We have a standing objection for a rule of the This report also contain those images from the uh, screenshot images that have been modified. Uh, images sent from Laura Barkey's phone to uh, Sussman's phone? Yes, it is. When is the first image communicated from Sussman's phone to uh, Fear? On 11-16 of 2016 at 4.33 p.m. Again, the day before Laura shot and killed him. That is correct. This includes the image where Laura is literally cut out of the image. Yes, it does. Turning your attention to State's Exhibit 135, is that another WhatsApp conversation with an individual by the name of Fiona, F-I-O-N-A? Yes, it is. Can you admit State's Exhibit 135? Same objection. So you're willing to do the Unlike the prior listing of images, does this send images to this individual from Sussman's phone on the 16th, or is it a different date? These images are on a different date. What is that date? On 11-17 of 2016. So this individual is receiving images from, from Sussman's phone the day Laura shot killed? Yes. What time? The First one is at 11.20 a.m. And is that the image which depicts the baby bed, the gray baby bed behind the infant taken on the 16th? Yes, it does. Does it also include modified photographs sent by Sussman's phone to this account? Yes, it does. Are you looking at State's Exhibit 120? Or 120A? I got 120A. And is that, uh, what is it? Uh, these are from WhatsApp. It's a, the chat thread um, between two devices. Looks like this one came off of Laura's phone. And we previously had been State's Exhibit 120A. Is that conversation between Laura Barkey's phone and Sussman's phone? Yes. Um, though this is located on Laura's device, correct? That is correct. Um, I'm also drawing attention to State's Exhibit 120C, which is a, excuse me, 120B. Do you have that translation for me? Yes, I do. Um, Judge, I move to admit State's Exhibit 120B if I have it, uh, pursuant to the stipulation of the parties is the accurate position from Spanish translation. I'm going to draw your attention to the bottom of the page. It's a 20-page document? 20-page document, yes. I'm going to draw your attention to communication uh, July 2nd, 2016, the bottom of page 1. Does that appear to be coming from the word to um, Suspice's phone? Yes. And uh, what does it say? LOL, yes, my boyfriend is so happy, He's super happy, and my mom too. We already picked a name for her, Sofia Victoria Gonzalez Labarca. So, from that communication, it appeared that Laura Barca has named her daughter 
on July 2nd, 2016, several months before she shot. Yes, sir. Turn to page two. Again, on July 2nd, 2016, probably four from the bottom, around 4.47 in the afternoon. Um, is there a communication going from what is marked here as Yasinia Avigita to Laura? Yes. What does it say? Well, yes, buddy, but be very careful these first months. Um, does Laura respond? Yes. And what does she say? Yes, buddy, thank you. So, from that, you're seeing that the Yasinia Avigita, the number that matches assessments is from the same. Be careful, take care of your baby. Yes. On July 5th, at the bottom of that page, does Assessments' phone, we see the Abigita's account, saying the thing uh, to work. Yes. What does it say? Hello, buddy. I'm okay. I'm here being a lazy bump, but what can I do? I can't help it. How are you? How is Victoria doing? So she says Victoria, which would be the middle name of Sophie Victoria. Yes. Yes. It doesn't say it's over, does it? No, it does not. Drawing your attention to page three. Middle of page around 8.16 in the afternoon on July 8th. Does the senior need to ask a question? Yes. What does it say? Hello, buddy. What are you doing? How are you? What's the next statement? How is that little belly? So she's asking about the most pregnant belly, apparently? Yes. Can you turn to page four? Does it appear that there's a break in communication between the two accounts from, say, July 21st to October of 2016? Yes. Who reaches out to who? Starting in October? Yes. Uh, Laura reaches out. So how does she do that? She sends a message to the senior Nikita. What does she say? Just the word buddy. She has a question after that? And then a few seconds later says, how are you? Does the senior Nikita's account respond? Yes. What does it say? Hello, I'm so glad you chat me. I lost my phone and I didn't have your correct number, darling. How is your baby doing? It says, how is your baby doing? That is correct. It doesn't say, how is my baby doing? No, it does not. Turn to page 5. October 27, 2016, 11.34 <coughs> in the morning. Is there a question from the Anita? I'm sorry, I couldn't hear what there was a cough. What was the time? 11.34. In 58 seconds. Is there a question from the senior Pita? Yes, there is. What's the question? What is your final choice for the baby's name? Does Laura respond at 11.3603? Yes. What does she say? Sophia Victoria Gonzalez Abarco. So she again tells the defendant through the WhatsApp account the name of her daughter. Yes, it does. Yes, she does. Does the senior Benitez account say or ask a question at 11.59.37 in the morning on October 27th? Yes. What does it say? Yes, okay, it's a deal. Hey, send me your address right now. Otherwise, I won't be able to find you. Does Laura respond, respond with that address on October 27, 2016 at 12.03? Yes, she does. What address does she list? She lists the address of 215 North Brunswick, Apartment 1, here in Wichita, Kansas. The apartment where Laura is found shot dead on November 17, 2016. Yes. Let's talk about some questions on page 6. top of the page, is you see how the Gita beginning to ask questions about who lives with Laura Barton.
Yes. What did she ask her? She says, oh yes, that's good buddy, the most important, the baby girl is okay and that everything works out nicely. And yes, because otherwise I can't find you LOL. Do you live in the same place with your mom or only both of you like lovebirds? So she's asking whether it's just Manuel and Tony Gonzalez more or whether Guadalupe Noguera Nicuera is also living with her. Correct. Moore responds and says uh, something on October 27th at 158, uh, confirming that her mom lives there. Yes, she does. Moving to the 28th, does he see how he to get inquire about how Moore is doing? Yes. Checking in at uh, 5 .05 p.m.? Yes. What does she say? She starts with, howdy buddy, then... How is that little belly doing? Not how is my daughter doing, right? No. How's your belly doing? Correct. <coughs> Slow respond, everything's okay? Just a few more days until the baby's delivered? Yes. Does your senior have to ask her when the delivery date is supposed to be? Yes. Turning to page 7, does Laura respond on November 2nd at 2 o'clock? Yes. What does she tell her? According to the doctors, she is going to be born on November 16th. Giving her the approximate due date of Sophia Victoria. That's correct. On November 2nd, does the city of Anita say something around 3 10 in the afternoon and 34 seconds? Yes. What does she say? Well, is because I want to see you before the delivery. I cannot picture you with your belly. Say she can. She wants to see Laura before the delivery. Yes. I'm just going to ask you, based upon your review, do you find anything in here, any conversation about adoption at all? I don't, no. Not a single word, right? No, I do not. Always referring to Sophie Victoria as your daughter. Yes. Never mind. Correct. Let's move forward closer to Sophie's birth date. Draw your attention to your report. Do you find around on page 10 of your actual report? Do you find that screenshot in the image of 215 Brunswick being sent to Warabarka? Yes. What time is it sent? At 2.06 p.m. on 1111 of 2016. The date the child's born? Yes. So if I refer you back now to thir page 13 of the transcript. Actually, the top of page 14. This is it accompanied with a question? Yes. And what is the question? Is this the place where you live? <coughs> so this phone also contains the image where she saved 215 Brunswick on a prior WhatsApp chat on another screenshot. Correct. Still confirming where she can find Laura Barton. Correct. But Laura responds, not yes or no at first. She sends her a picture of her and the child from the hospital. Is that correct? That is correct. Uh, Sophia on her chest and her eyes are things the Laura's eyes are closed. That's correct. And the image that the jury saw that you found on Suspice's phone. Yes. Now 
And at 11, 11, 16, at 638, does Sussman's account, the senior need to respond? It says, wow, pretty girls, and you're all red, LOL. Congratulations for your baby, Nina. Your baby? Yes. Doesn't say my baby, does it? That's correct. Moving down to the 13th, does Yusini Abedita ask a question at 3.10 in the afternoon? Yes. What does it say? Wow, pretty, have, have you been released, buddy? Want to know she's no longer in the hospital? Correct. On the 15th, does Yusini Abedita ask a question at 12.11 p.m.? Yes. What does she ask? Hello, buddy, where are you? Trying to find more. Correct. Laura responds at the top of page 15. Yes, she says, hello, girlfriend. I'm here at home resting, LOL. So now, Laura has told her where she's at. Correct. And based upon the location data that she found in Sussex's phone, the defendant's phone is still in Dallas on the 15th. Correct. Does Laura tell her on November 15th, 2016 at 1.33 p.m. who she's going to be with on Thursday, November 17th, 2016? On 133, she, she says, I'm going to be by myself on Thursday. So Laura's saying, I'm going to be alone. Correct. On the 17th? Yes. And again, this is sent to Sussman's phone on the 15th. That is correct. At 7.14 p.m., does Yesenia Abedita say something? She says, I'm going to get there to help you. But prior to that, at 7.12, does she say something else? She says, yes, buddy, I wanted to go tomorrow, but I remember that your boyfriend is going to be there, and, well, he can enjoy your company tomorrow, and I can take care of you both until Monday. Does Laura respond at 10.04 to that statement? Yes, she says, he is not going to be here tomorrow. So that's saying that on the 16th, Ben Wall Tony Gonzalez is not going to be at the airport. Correct. Does she say anything about where her mother will be? She says only my mom. But based on the location data that you obtained, the phone then travels from Dallas to Wichita and is in Wichita on the 16th. Yes, it is. Middle of page 16, at 10.43 in the morning, does you see how to again ask for the address? Yes. Does Laura respond a few minutes later with the address on Brunswick? Yes, she does. Does it, an hour and a half, almost two hours later, does she send a photo of her daughter to you see how to around 12.55? Yes. And that's the uh, image of the baby in the little hat? Yes, it is. We'll turn you some information about whether they were together on the 16th and we'll get On 116 at 725 in the evening, does Laura uh, begin communication which would indicate that she has seen the user previously on the 16th? 
This would be on page 19. And, and what a time again? For around 7 25 p.m. Yes. What does it say? Thank you for coming. I was so happy to see you. Keep going. Life goes on. Take time for yourself for a while. You don't need a man on your side to get ahead. If things go well with your ex again, okay. But if they don't, is also okay. But you keep moving forward and do not be depressed by that. That doesn't sound like someone who's communicating about adoption, right? Correct. If anything, we talk about your girlfriend taking care of a girlfriend who's depressed about man troubles. Correct. Does Yasinia have a need to respond? Yes. What does she say? Yes, buddy, thank you for the advice. I enjoyed very much seeing you, and we'll keep seeing each other. attention to a statement at 7.52 p.m. Is you see Abita send up a statement to Lord? Yes. What does she say? Oh, Mina, that is something that I should tell you. Let's see if I can drop by tomorrow to prepare a soup for you or something else. Rest, okay, question mark. Indicating she's going to go back the next day. That's correct. Now let's talk about, we still have a screenshot that was saved on Sussex's phone, which was that last conversation including a picture of a divorced lawyer's uh, information. Yes. Was there a communication after that? See the very last page of your review. Yes. When does that last communication occur? It would be on the bottom of page 20 of the translation. Does it occur on November 18, 2016? Yes, and it starts with, this is it, bud. And then a few seconds later, buddy. But those communications are on the 17th, are they not? Those are on the 17th. Around 1.30 in the afternoon? Yes. A few minutes before we heard testimony that Lacey Webb came home on break? Yes. Um, but I want to direct your attention to what comes next. Is there communication the day after Laura is shot and found dead? Yes. November 18, 2016? Yes. Communication going from Sussman's phone to the account of Yesenia Benita to Laura's phone. It says, hello buddy, how are you? Are you all right? Because Gabby asked me if I knew what happened to you and because yesterday you did not answer me anymore. I didn't want to bother you. Remember, I told you about my uncles. I ended up coming here. I'm arriving in Indiana, happy. Thank you for your advice, buddy. Tend to indicate that someone was traveling to Indiana. Yes. But based on the location now on the phone, based on the photographs on the phone, which all show that phone being in Dallas, Texas, that phone never went to Indiana, did it? Not from that information on it, no. I'm showing you now State's Exhibit 120C. What is State's Exhibit 120C? This is a chat thread of WhatsApp uh, from the user with a, a username of Azul uh, to the username Laura. So this one is from Sesma's phone. Mirror image, but not as long. That's correct. And when is the date that those start? The first one is on October 27th of 2016. So if someone had lost their phone, that might be the only images that would be captured on WhatsApp on that new phone. 
Yes. I'm going to show you now State's Exhibits 83 and 84. Take a look at State's Exhibits 83 and 84. You recognize those photographs? Yes. Are those images contained in the WhatsApp communication between Laura and Yasini Abagita? Yes. Are they also in that between Azul and Laura? Yes. So they, they were found on both phones? Correct. Uh, what are the depictions of? Of a baby. Um, one of them appears to be in a hospital room and the other one also. And these were images that uh, were appeared to have been manipulated at some point on suspects' phone. Yes. I moved to admit state C C B four. Catch me Jack C B four I apologize, sir. You display eighty three four. Is that the sum of all? Correct, 83 and 84. Can you notice Again, that image having been manipulated and used in another screenshot. Correct. In 84, please. Again, that image being sent through WhatsApp by Sussman's phone to other users. That's correct. I moved to admit State's Exhibit 120C just to be clear that that's the WhatsApp communication between. I don't believe so, Judge, because State's Exhibit 87 would be duplicative, so we not offer any time. But it also has been in here to council on view of that. Yes, Your On page 4, I don't show 99 as did it I will double check. 
I do show that 99 was the picture uh, from Facebook shopping for baby beds it was displayed. I believe it was offered by the state, so I would need to admit that.
my intent is to bring the jury back in to uh, ask the defense that it was to present any witnesses and make, have you make that announcement at that time, which is more than recess the jury until tomorrow morning, probably at, uh, I've got an 845 docket that I stacked a bunch of stuff in. And then obviously in this state, I hope that we be done, but um, I'll have them come back at 10.30 and hopefully we can know any instructions at that time. Instructions conference. Okay. Anything before bring the jury in?